Hey everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Mike Malone, trumpeter, composer, and educator. Mike was a writer and performer with seminal Canadian groups like Nimmons and Nine Plus Six and the Dave McMurdo Jazz Orchestra. Mike is here to demonstrate some creative ways to incorporate pentatonics into your writing. Today I'm going to talk about pentatonic scales. Uh, They've been around in folk music of the world for thousands of years, uh, but it's not until the, the 1960s that they become an important part of the jazz language. Pentatonic scales have five tones within an octave. The name pentatonic comes from the Greek word pente, meaning five. Uh, the majority, the major pentatonic scale is the one most familiar to us. It's basically a major scale with the fourth and seventh notes left out. So we're, we have one, two, three, five, six. The minor pentatonic is really a mode of the major. It uses the same five pitches, but it starts on six instead of on one. Today, I'm going to talk about the major pentatonic, and instead of the minor, let's look at the jazz minor pentatonic, derived from the ascending melodic minor scale. Again, the fourth and seventh notes are left out, and we use one, two, three, five, six to form the scale. Both these scales can be heard as chords as well. The major pentatonic forms a C6-9 chord, and the minor pentatonic uh, a minor 6-9. The treble staff shows how each note of the C pentatonic relates to the chord shown below it. The bass clef has a sample voicing of each chord. Looking across the top of the treble staff, you can see where the C pentatonic scale starts in relation to each chord. For example, it starts on the root of the C chords. It starts on the, on the fifth uh, of the F major seven. It starts on the ninth of the B flat major seven, etc., etc. We don't have time to cover uh, them all here, but you can replay this part and review them, taking as much time as you need to absorb them all. But take a look at the last one, the G flat seven altered, the C pentatonic starts on the sharp 11th, there's a chord. And there's the C, the sharp 11, or flat five. Uh, the D is the flat 13. The E is the seventh of the chord. The G is the flat nine. And the A is the sharp nine. So uh, you have all the, the alterations in the G7, or G flat seven altered. Uh, with the pentatonic scale that starts a tritone away from the root of the chord. Uh, so that's a very valuable one to be aware of. Pages three and four of this slide do the same study with the C jazz minor pentatonic. We get some more exotic chords with this scale, the C minor major seven. E flat major seven sharp five, B seven altered, and now the scale starts on the flat nine of the chord. A minor seven flat five. Jerry Bergonzi in his series Inside Improvisation Volume two is uh, dedicated to pentatonic scales, and there he calls 
uh, what I'm calling the jazz minor pentatonic. He calls the minor seven flat five pentatonic because it is so useful on that type of chord. Here's an example chorus from a piece of mine called One Way Out, recorded by the Dave McMurdo Jazz Orchestra. The album is called Different Paths. The first half chorus is in two-part writing, mostly fourths and fifths, written across the sections with three voices on each line. The second half is four and five part writing for the saxophone section, but also all pentatonics. first half of the chorus, the scales are all jazz minor pentatonics, uh, while the second half is mostly major. I think there might be one or two minor pentatonics in there. We can often move easily from one pentatonic to another using notes common to both scales. In bar 221, the common tones B flat, F, and C uh, make an easy transition from the B-flat pentatonic to A-flat pentatonic. So just two voices moving. Like that. In bar 223, the A-flat pentatonic shares four pitches, uh, B flat, C, E flat, and F, with the uh, E flat jazz minor pentatonic. Get rid of the A flat and we add a G flat instead. And then that uh, allows for a, a half step movement to the F minor pentatonic, which has two common tones as well, the C and the F. So it's very easy to slide around from one to another. The concept of using subsets of scales to find new sounds, both melodic and harmonic, can open up our ears to many new and interesting ideas. For example, we have only touched on one subset, one, two, three, five, six, in the major scale and the jazz minor. We could apply that same subset to the harmonic minor and the harmonic major as well. We could also apply it to modes of each of those scales. For example, the Phrygian mode, one, two, three, five, six, Uh, or out of the jazz minor, uh, Mixolydian flat six, the fifth mode. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your own exploration of pentatonic scales. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos down below. To watch our full-length events and participate in live Q&As with our presenting artists, head to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.